This is Cuisine Royale, which is another Battle Royale title. So to start off, you kind of pick your male or female character, and then you're able to uh, sort of unlock new outfits and things to do, uh, which is kind of neat. And you can, like, different sprays and uh, clothing items and stuff like that. And you get, like, a drone in this one, which is kind of neat, and like a gesture. And you go to the workshop, and then you work through these kind of trees to unlock, you know, like, items and stuff. And everything like that uh, you get inventory and then you have like an item shop where you can purchase new stuff obviously and then we're gonna jump into it you can play singles or squad uh, it's fairly quick for finding a match uh, usually there we go we're already in uh, it is Xbox one X enhanced with a 4k resolution and no HDR support for this one uh, you basically just kinda like spawn in it shows some cloud stuff and then you're good to go and you get like a controls thing as you can see, these are the characters. Uh, we've got our little squad here. Hopefully, we find the the bunny uh, type shoes because they give you like a bouncing effect. And uh, yeah, on the map, you can kind of interact with it and maybe put a placement down. I guess they're going over there, so that's where we'll head. Uh, it looks to be like a bit of a, a French landscape, as to say. It's got uh, over 30 World War II guns. So you get like machine guns and MG42 and like bolt action stuff uh, from that era. So I assume that's also the era of which we're in location wise. I'm not 100% sure, but that's just kind of what it looks like to me when I've been playing is it's like a French battleground area. Anyway, so we got our trusty uh, knife. You can also go into the first person here if you want to with RB, which is kind of cool. And uh, we've also got, so we showed off the map and stuff. And then we also got this sort of, uh, inventory area that you're able to check out just by pressing start and going to that so that's kind of cool uh, we're gonna head over to the buildings and hopefully get some loot our team has really not been doing a great effort in regards to getting to loot but yeah I think visually the game actually looks really good like the textures and everything like this uh, I guess it's in game preview at the current point uh, from what I recall it was on the insider program for a bit so yeah, I need to see that it's finally sort of released. It is a free-to-play game, so you can check it out. Uh, you can also crouch, and you can go prone if you want. Totally up to you for tactical movement. This house sucks for loot, or somebody else has already been here and looted it. You can also open windows, which is kind of cool. Yeah, there's people in this town. Great, 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 great. Hopefully there's like some weapons or something that would make this so that I can survive this encounter. I'm going to make a dash for the big building here and hopefully everything is going to run smoothly. You can also like uh, sort of vault places. I wanted to go to the close position, but I don't know why these teammates were leaning. They're not even coming over here. They're like outside the area. We're going to lose so quickly in this. Well, it looks like there's 40 something players at the top. I, I, I don't get this. Like it says on the store page that there's like 32 and then below that on the store page it says 36 is the maximum and then you get more 45 in this. I don't know. Anyways, uh, yeah, maybe they're testing different numbers. You just kind of go around looting and trying to find a gun, hopefully. Sometimes it's a little bit easier than other times i found to get guns. Sometimes you get, like, kitted right up. One time I, you know, had, a, like, a terrible weapon, and I just kind of, like, killed this tough guy, and I got all this cool stuff, and I was like, yeah, score. There's also vehicles that you can drive, which are kind of neat. I think my teammates don't really know what they're doing. I'm going to head over to this town and hopefully... Uh, get some loot. So on the bottom left, you can kind of see your mini map. You get an idea where your teammates are. It works all right for that. And then to the left of that, you see your actual squad mates. Uh, bottom right is your stamina. If you get shot, you have a health bar that shows up to it. You can fully swim in water, which is kind of cool and fast. I'd say gameplay-wise, it actually sort of runs decently well control-wise, but it also feels very awkward at times, which is kind of interesting. Uh, weapons when you get them are like a first person perspective and they actually look pretty good which is surprising so this is like a bit of a a wacky uh, kind of game you know like it's a battle royale obviously as I mentioned but it's sort of like a silly battle royale because you're collecting like kitchen things like pots and pans as armor and you can get like a cigar makes you tougher and then you can have like a blood pack on your back for like regeneration and I feel like this area's also all been looted, but I don't know, we'll take a look and see. I'm just having the worst luck. Usually you find stuff just everywhere, loot-wise. I think we just got the short straw today uh, with this particular place.
play here, especially with our teammates not really doing much. They're out there, but... And they need to get over here and give me a hand. I do wish the performance was a little bit better, and the guns are, like, sort of really awkward to handle, which isn't great. And we're going to go into this house and hopefully have a stroke of luck with a gun. I guess we'll take the car, so that's great. So you can press Y to switch between your guns, and then you can uh, click right on the uh, the D-pad there in order to get to your your side, like kind of axe or your knife, you know, whatever you have in the particular situation. And then you get like weird things, like like I was mentioning, uh, the shoes. They're like bit of uh, they're like bouncy shoes, which is kind of cool, and you can like go really high, which is like a huge advantage uh, combat-wise. I don't know why that guy's still looting there. We're not going to find anything. And you got to run away from the giant enclosing blue mist thing or whatever it is in this particular game. It's like a cloud sort of thing. You'll know what I mean if you get into it. Uh, yeah, it, it's kind of a, a neat, whimsical, wacky take on Battle Royale. I believe it was like an April Fool's joke that was like actually not a joke. It was like... Where did I get shot from? Oh, I'm going to die. Oh. It's right there. Well, stop eating. I guess I'm locked in this eat thing. One sec. Where did he go? Is he in the bush? Like, there's like some thick shrubbery. Oh, find a shrubbery. That's weird. Anyways, continuing on, because I somehow survived that. Uh, yeah, you're finding loot, magazines, ammo, and stuff, whatever you can get in order to survive and do more damage. I'm just having, like, no luck finding really good ammo. Like, this is a big gun, so this is going to, like, limit my movement quite a bit. Uh, and it kind of, like, jumps all over the place. Let's see, it's, like, limiting how I can move, really. Switch to that, I get a little bit faster of a movement when it's on the back. You have like a small bag. You have like a medium bag, and it's like a shopping bag, which is kind of funny. Well, I guess this one sort of is too. And you just get all this like weird stuff dangling off of you, which is kind of hilarious. Uh, Walter, why not? We'll have a sidearm, right? Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. We're going to keep moving along here. I think our teammates is sort of scavenged, or we'll look through this place for stuff. So I'm not sure what we'll find. Browning magazine, yeah, good. Go right on. And yeah, usually the action's more tense, but we just really haven't uh, run into too many people. I mean, that one guy just put a good shot into me. I like how you can just go through the windows. I think that's a nice touch. I hate it when they adjusted that in uh, PUBG because it just kind of like really ruined the dimension or the yeah, it ruined the dynamic of it for me. Not being able to go into those vehicles. Oh, cool. So I think somebody maybe died here. And we're able to uh, grab this armor stuff. Big knife, yeah. Dead body. So that's kind of convenient for us, in my opinion. Let me zoom in here. Yeah. But generally, I, I think it's quite a good-looking game visually. I mean, I'm fairly impressed with the, with the 1X here. I mean, obviously, the performance could be cleaned up a bit, but none of these battle royale games really do run great, so, you know, whatever. <laughs> Take what you can get, what are you shooting at, bro? Hmm. Anyways, if you're looking for something that is a little bit more silly, over the top, ridiculous, this is probably your go-to. Assault vest. Aw, uh, yeah, now I'm looking a little bit more armored, that's good. I can get up here at the browning and cause some damage. Oh, is he? He's dead, dead. See, is like, like I, what I mean there. The gun doesn't shoot very well. Was I getting shot at? Uh, I guess just better shots there. So we died. We'll we'll do another match because it's kind of intense, and then you it's able to start, and then you can can exit the game. Alright, we're jumping to another match here. 
And we're going to hopefully find some better loot right away. Now oh, we got ourselves a medium bag, isn't that sick? And a grenade. That'll do a lot for us. Now let's check this house. Exquisite bread is just what I've always wanted. It's very uh, thematically sound. Okay, let's get in here. What else we do? Oh, we got a car, which I don't think is going to help me too much. Oh no, I want the uh, the medium bag, obviously. Car. <laughs> Uh, zone restrictions starting soon, which I think we're quite good for. Yeah, I get the remote wheel by up on the, the D-pad here. You gotta, like, hold it. Right, we're gonna do maybe an indicator for everybody to go to Love of Like a nice big town. Because I'm assuming everybody's gonna have cleaned up with the loot. Yeah, you actually get a pretty good draw distance in this. It's kinda shocking to be honest that you get that much. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad at all. I mean it is just kind of another battle royale title, but it is neat that they do something a little bit different and perhaps a little bit more silly with it too which is kind of cool my opinion you know whatever all to their own is this open I haven't been near the train so I have no idea maybe for sure whatever the houses are right here let's get to it and getting ready and hopefully gonna find some loot I don't think that really killed that guy, did it? Is he, like, hiding right here? Or? Oh. Maybe he doesn't even know I shot at him. I really shouldn't be running at him with the car, I guess. He could have anything. Alright, well, we got a gun out of this. I don't know where the guy went. Yeah, he was right here, so that's weird. You can move pretty quick in this, so he could be in any other building. Keep our eyes open. That means there's a threat nearby. Yeah, maybe he snuck in this way. We didn't even notice. No, it doesn't look like it. You look at buildings, maybe somebody shot him. So many reasons certain things happen, right? There's like gunfire going on somewhere. Yeah, these houses look looted. I think OG Cheesies is nearby. Get a scope going on. Yeah, let's see what we got. Kind of in the inventory here. There we go, a nice scope on this. Although I haven't had too many situations where you're not like totally close up in conflict, so. Let's see how it goes. Definitely looks like there's some shooting going on. Sounds like it's over here. Oh, somebody died. I think somebody went in there and grabbed the loot right away. Not surprised by that at all. 
Maybe the loot could be a little bit more, uh, I don't know, name tag visible. In my opinion, it's just like a little bit hard to see sometimes. Hmm. I feel like these guns are too similar. Wait, where'd the... Did he come in and take that? Oh my god. I wanted the... Ugh. Oh wow, that was a sick shot, eh? Get some of those cool knee pads of speed. I'd rather have those. But yeah, they have different abilities. Oh crap. Oh damn! It's like a loot party. Could you not take everything that I earned? <laughs> I guess I'll take the food or something. Wow. Oh, and then I get shot, of course. Ain't no surprise about that. Anyways, that's cu Cuisine Royale. Cuisine, cuisine, whatever you want to call it. Pretty intense action. You can even do like a bit of a spectator, obviously. I don't know if you saw that last time, but you can see uh, how things are going. Switch between your players that are left. I kind of just watch. I mean, sort of a deep perspective on this, seeing the, the players running around, doing their things. These guys are a little bit more armored up and stuff. And Yeah, I don't know. I think it's kind of fun. It's sort of neat, a little bit weird. And yeah.